Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert here. In this video, we're going to install Java on a Chromebook. The first thing we need to do is install the Linux development environment. So I'm going to go over here to the launcher, and I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to go to my settings. Now, if you can't find them, you can search for them as well. And on the left-hand side, I'm going to go down to About Chrome OS, and I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to select the Linux development environment. I'll click Setup, and then we have this wizard that will pop up that will walk us through the setup. I'm going to click Next, and then it's going to give me a default username, which I believe is based off your email, and a recommended disk size. If you want to change the username, I would change that now. The disk size can either be changed now or at a later point. I'm going to stick with the defaults and click Install, and this is going to take a few moments to go ahead and install, and I'll come on back once that's done. Okay, once the Linux development environment is installed, a terminal will pop up. You can now close out your settings here. I'm just going to maximize this and make the font a little bit larger so you can see what I'm doing. We want to first make sure that everything's up to date. We can do that by typing sudo apt update and then two ampersands and then sudo apt upgrade and do a dash y flag and hit enter. And that's going to take a few moments to go ahead and update everything and I'll come on back once that's done. Okay, that's run through. We can now clear everything out. Now there's going to be two different ways we can install Java on this Chromebook. The first one, we can just type sudo apt install default dash JDK and hit enter. And that's going to take about 291 megabytes at the time of this recording. I'm going to say yes, hit enter. Okay, once that goes ahead and runs through, we can check that we have Java installed by typing Java hyphen hyphen version. And we see that we have uh, OpenJDK version 17. Now, if I want to, say, get rid of that and install the other version, what I can do is sudo apt uh, purge uh, default dash JDK, hit enter. And we'll say yes to freeing up the disk. And then that'll free up some of the stuff. And then we'll type sudo apt auto remove to get rid of the rest of the stuff. And now it's going to clear up the rest of the uh, disk space that it took to install the default JDK. Okay, so we've gone through and now we've uninstalled that version. If we want the other version, we can go here to the browser and search for Amazon Coretto. And we'll go to this, uh, it's aws.amazon.com Coretto, forward slash Coretto. And uh, the long-term support version at the time, the latest one at the time of this recording, is version 21. So I'm going to click on that for the downloads. And we're going to download this first here, the download link, the first .dev file. This works uh, for AMD and Intel-based Chromebooks. So we'll download that. Okay, um, I'm going to go to my Downloads folder or click Show in Folder like I just did. And I can right click this and click install with Linux. It's going to go up and load up the app information. I'll click install and then OK. OK, once that's gone ahead and installed, we can pull back up the terminal just to check our version. We'll do Java space hyphen hyphen version. And we see we have OpenJDK version 21 uh, from Coretto. So those are two different ways to install Java. Now let's say we programmed with Java on our computer and we were taking a course or whatever, and then we decide, you know what, uh, I don't really need it on the computer, I don't need the Linux development environment, I just want to get rid of it. So all we have to do to do that is go back to settings, or let's say you mess something up with your Linux development environment, you can go back down to about Chrome OS, go to Linux development environment, and simply click remove, and you can delete it, and it will delete. And, you know, you went ahead and deleted it. You might want to restart your computer, but then if you wanted to set up a Linux development environment for something else, you just click set up again and set it right back up. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. If it was, please like and subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching the video. Have a great day.